Hey everybody, Big Fatty Plus here. Welcome back to the Big Man Plays. Sa Shadowrun Returns. When we last left off, we taken care of the evil Dr. Holmes. Or as the episode that we killed him in is going to be called Frankenstein. Because he was Frankenstein. Turning people into freaking freaks like these two poor people turn into Bunraku. Whatever our Bunraku is. But we, uh, I failed once, my first death. Without the message. But now, we need to locate an exit. Wait a minute. What's this going on down here? Probably if I had a shaman, I probably could have done something with that. But anyway, let's leave. We're gonna leave them here. It's fine. Hmm. Okay, there's a cell I can't open, but it looks rather, uh... Rather neat. T cage TV for them to watch there. That's looking... That's clean looking cell. A cleaner looking cell, and then a bunch of junk here. Yeah, there's the back door. Yes. Let's just leave this horrible place. I'm gonna have to buy some health items. Loose ends. The ride back to the seamstress union is quiet compared to the pandemonium left behind at Mercy Mental Hospital. Lone Star squad cars pass you on the road, sirens blaring, no doubt in response to the aftermath of your showdown with the late Dr. Henry Holmes, the Emerald City Ripper. The man who violently repossessed the internal organs of Sam and Jessica's mother, Melinda Watts. And although the killer is dead and his grip on the city is broken, it's clear he wasn't working alone. There are loose ends aching to be tied. The taxi turns onto Redmond Way, cruising past the now familiar landmarks until the Seamstress's Union, in all its decadent seedy glory, materializes between swipes of its overworked windshield wipers. Time to evaluate your next move. Yes. The Union is quiet this afternoon. The salarymen and wage slaves haven't migrated from nearby offices and suburbs to dabble in the exotic yet. Now, uh, what's going on over here? There she is! Johnny, Johnny Clean is talking with Cherry Bomb and Mrs. Kubota when you walk up. We were just talking about you, big. And the Emerald City Ripper! Ironic that you tracked a serial killer to a mental hospital! Johnny Clean told us where you were going, oh my. We have been waiting for you to return. I thought you knew better than that, Johnny. Johnny frowns and nods. You're right. I should have kept my mouth shut. Should know better. Guess we have a personal stake in the Ripper murders. We each have our reasons for wanting the killer found. Sam was a regular here and his loss has been felt regardless of his shortcomings. The whole sprawl has been shaken by these killings as well. The randomness of them. No one knows if they'll be ne if they'll be next or what the killer might take from them. I admit that the killings have hampered business as well. I am sorry, but it is true. This I helped that Sam's body was found down the street from here. Even my regular customers have been loath to venture out with a killer on the loose. Now tell us, oh my, did you find the person responsible for the Ripper murders? Not exactly. I got the schmuck who... Because the text will censor me if I don't shut up text. I got the schmuck who wielded the scalpel, but whoever's pulling the strings is still out there. Someone's pulling the strings of a serial killer? This sounds more complicated than I suspected. Let's see here. Which one? It is. The head of the asylum was killing specific people to harvest specific body parts. All the transplanted organs came from the same donor, Melinda Watts, Sam's mother. Looked like he was putting her back together. The three are silent as the news sinks in. So, Sam, Sam had a, an organ transplant from his mother? And then the Ripper killed Sam and all those other people just to reassemble Sam's mother? Looks like it. I sense the cause and effect in this. Coyote and Jake Armitage le just left here to attend Sam's funeral. 
I am told that there'll be there'll be a reinterment ceremony for his mother as well. His sister invited me to funeral and re reinterment when I met her here. Think his sister Jessica has something to do with it? Hang on. I saw Sam's sister when she was here the other day. She was as corpus they come, but I can't imagine a lady like that being behind, behind a series of murders. There's gotta be something else going on. Oh, there is. It is clear she must go to the funeral and talk with Jessica Watts, B. And I need to pay my respects to Sam. Of course. Miss Kabuda raises her hand and the conversation stops. Wait, before you go, there's one thing you did not tell us, B. Where is the Emerald City Ripper now? Decomposing. She nods in satisfaction. Ha! That is good. Yes. That shot the crap out of him. Was there something else on my? I found this list in the data store at Mercy Mental. Oh my, this is unspeakable. Murder was not enough for this person. Signed patience is Bunraku's slave. Thank you for bringing this to me. I know you are still hot on the trail of your friend Sam's killer. I will contact some runners to liberate these poor souls from the... From the buyers in this list. You've done much good here today. The head of the Ripper was more of a monster than anyone could have known. Let me know if I can do anything else. I will. Goodbye for now. I ain't gonna be a schmuck and ask for a reward. But I do need to go down and uh... Oh, let's go talk to Mr. Clue. And then we'll go down and uh... Assemble ourselves, as it were. Welcome back, B. Thanks, big guy. Anything new in the rumor mill? Most of the rumors about you and what you've been doing. Word around here is that you were closing on the Ripper when you last left. Dare I ask how it went? Sam's killer has met his end. Sam will be grateful, I'm sure. And yet your shoulders are no more relaxed, and you still survey the room like a woman who has yet to return from war. This isn't over, is it? The Ripper may have been killing on someone else's orders. Big guy sighs. <sighs> I was hoping this would be all behind us. The Barrens is a short memory, but for wounds such as these, it makes an exception. To see this prolonged, I fear how long, how it may forever change the landscape. Gangs have already started to take advantage of the chaos left in the Ripper's wake. Now it serves to destabilize what semblance of order there was, paving the way for the megacorps to make, their la make land grabs and push poor Sinless further into the fringes. Where the dangers are greatest. Sooner or later, even the Union can be threatened. It would take an army, Mr. Clue. Maybe a couple. Take care of me. Yep. Let me go over here. I need to, uh... Let's see, what's my... What's my, uh, financials? I want to know my... Oh, I'm only got seven grand. Dang it. I don't have anything in stash, so it's fine. That cast looks to be very rested and in better spirits than the last time you saw her. She also clearly had a shower and a change of clothes. Maybe even some sleep. Her eyes are, sh are sharp when you turn up from her... Uh, when you turn up... When they, when they turn up from her work to greet you. God dang, welcome back, big. Still in one piece, I see. More... Or it's the pity for me, but I'll still take your money. Perhaps a full physical is in order? Or we can call it a medical consultation. That's why I roughly determine odds of your survival based on your professional proclivities. Comes with a lollipop. So it'll be. Actually, I'm curious how many patients you lost over the years. Dr. Castle sits down at work and fixes you with a hard look. Her expression normally falls on an axis of varying degrees of indifference, but depending on her level of tiredness. But now it's shifted over to something decidedly darker. Is this morbid curiosity? I didn't mean to upset you. It's fine. I have no reservations if I answer the question. To give you a hard number is difficult. There are many who would, who I would have considered patients that never made it home. And so I suppose one could say they died well under my care, though not as a result of it. But the number I, th but the number I think you want is the number of patients who died on my table, and that number is six. Six who I was unable to save, spread across a 13-year career. I remember each and every one, down to the smallest detail, including the moment where I realized I could do nothing more for them. I argue that four of those six were beyond helping from the moment they passed through my door. The fifth died of all complications while they were installing a stolen piece of experimental cyborg, which I had cautioned using against. Cautioned against using the sixth? Entirely my fault. I made a mistake. 
I can't claim I was overtired or experienced or distracted. I simply made the wrong decision and a young man died of assault. So it sounds like a pretty stellar track record, Doc. She picks up her tablet and resumes work. Yes, well, will there be anything else? Let's see your medical supplies, please. Uh. Yes, I'll take a couple of those. And. Heals you a team member, HP of 20, specials. And a couple of these. That, yes. That should be good. Never mind. I, I, I wanted to get some more cyberware, but I honestly don't have the, uh, the, uh, money. Yet. Hey there, what's up? Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Nice work, bitch. Buster currently has a mil-spec shotgun fully disassembled and its parts neatly arranged. He lovingly massages each piece with a microfiber cloth coated in some kind of gun oil or polish. Wherever the stuff is, it leaves the pieces shining brilliantly and pungent as hell. Got some catalogs just came in! If you might be interested in an order, I can get gear shipped overnight from the manufacturer. Y'all won't lie to you, you'll be paying for the convenience. Otherwise, I've got plenty of the usual bang-bangs waiting for a gun on, what do you say? What's the new hotness when it comes to dealing damage, Buster? Well, there are two schools of thought in the matter. There are those who swear by their smart guns and such because they make weapon more accurate and thus more deadly. There are those who subscribe to the bigger boom theory, putting all their money on the biggest and baddest rounds. But if you ask me, it's all situational. That's where our real advances have come. You can pack a panther assault cannon, but it won't do you any favors if you're fighting in a basement hallway. By the same token, a room sleeper might carve up your average pack of gangers up close and personal, but its range is a big limitation. Military life never taught me that. It was dealing to runners like yourself that afford me this epiphany. You gotta be ready for anything. On that note, might I interest you in some custom mods or perhaps some specialty grenades? I don't think I need any grenades. Do you have a new rifle? No, you don't have a new rifle. Uh, I don't think I need any grenades. Yeah, I like the, uh, flechettes. The, the, the fichetti concussions. I like those. I will take one of those. Alright, right now... Anything there from you, Eric? Nope. Algernon, do you have anything new to say? Probably frack not. Algernon, oh, it does. Algernon stands stock still. His eyes close and his face composed in a mask of stern concentration. But then a small snore escapes his nose. Instantly shattering the elf's cautiously and carefully manicured mystique. A clearing of your throat is enough to rouse the talismonger from his meditation. Ah, uh, Big, I was watching you approach from the Realm. So good of you to visit again. So how are things in the Astral Realm? What might I do for you on this fine day? So how are things on the Astral? Always a curious place, the Astral. Though a mere world to our own is ever changing. I suppose the same can be said of our reality. But things of a transitory nature here, or on the physical plane, can cause long-lasting changes in the astral. The bands that we can see and touch records the past with blood stains on the sidewalk and bullet holes in the storefront walls. But the astral goes further, recording the, the emotions that accompany these acts of violence, these events, texture astral plane. And just how is the astral textured these days? There's a great deal of fear and distrust. In some places, it's strong enough to impact the working of magic. But that's what my doom's saying. You have some better things to do. Is there anything I can help? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm broke, actually. I'm flat broke. But it's fine. It's completely fine. I'm flat broke, but it's fine. I mean, it's... it's oh, wait. Let's see. Uh... Let me see me read this here. If it will, uh... If it will, uh... Uh, if you could hurry up there, that'd be great. I mean, that would be perfect if you could hurry up there. Well, while you're... While the ticker is going... Okay, I've got a good number of healing items and... Well, no, okay. Breaking news! Sue Airbus crashes near Crater Lake. 
current reports indicate that engine failure caused the crash. There were no survivors. Well, that's lovely. Well, let's go to, uh, let's go to the funeral. Yes. Family death. The sun is nearly set when you reach Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament. Its cemetery, dilapidated and overgrown, sits atop a small hill on the outskirts of the city. A somber enclave of the dead overlooking the sprawl of the living. The Seattle rain continues unabated and lightning appears over the mountains, exposing the landscape in a staccato, pul staccato pulses of stark flashes. You walk the gravel path to the gates of the cemetery. Up ahead, you see Coyote and Jake standing by the graveside, along, uh, stand by the graveside alongside Jessica Watts and another mourner, a beautiful elbow woman in a six-figure outfit. Oh. Oh. Sam, you sly devil, you. Got a hot lady like that and you didn't tell me? Hmm. Wherever Dr. Holmes was up to at Mercy Mental Hospital, the answer is right here. With the reinterred body of Melinda Watts, the recently deceased body of Sam Watts, and with those attending them at the ceremony. Well then, let's uh, have ourselves a little... Uh, huh. I feel like I should carry an extra gun. I feel like I should. See, I got grenades. I don't think I no 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 let's let's let's, let's see here. I don't no, wait to see your items. Let's see here. No, I let's let's, let's go back. No, no concussion grenade is better. And let's see what are these. Oh. Yes. You know there's gonna be a fight. Why else would there be? Yes. Let's let's spend some karma in the form of two. Never mind. Well, let's, uh, let's see. We got, uh, Jessica Watts right here. The mourners stand graveside, listening to the Catholic priest's words of prayer and solace. Jessica's face is filled with relief as the last of her family is laid to rest. Father O'Malley. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Lord, receive the souls of Sam and Melinda Watts, mother and son, to live forever by your side. Amen. Thank you, Father. I know that my mother rests easier now she's finally in the parish cemetery. I'm sorry for the recent loss of your brother, but I'm glad that reinterring your mother's body here has brought you comfort. She loved this parish so. She opens her hands to the elf standing across from her. Thank you for coming, Lynn. You support has meant the world to me. Now I can live again with my new family. Lynn. Well, that face just looks frightening. The woman in, is a classic elven beauty, confident, poised, expensively dressed. Of course, I am glad this ancient ritual brings you some measure of solace. I hope you'll be able to put all of this behind you now. Jessica speaks to the rescue. Thank you all for coming. I didn't realize Sam had so many friends. I appreciate your support and friendship with Sam. Sobbed out the night he died. Only fitting I see him out today. Sam may have had his problems, but he was our friend, part of the Union family. Vaya con Dios, bud. Miss Watts, family members and friends, thank you for attending the service. I suggest we don't linger long. The cemetery isn't safe after dark. Thank you, Father. We'll just be a moment. Miss Watts, I know this isn't the best time, but we need to talk. She guard, she's guarded, but playing polite. Very well. Let's not keep Father O'Malley. Thank you, child. Feel free to call on me as you need. The priest clutches his Bible to his chest and then turns towards the neighboring church. The hell was that noise? The hell was that? Like, that wasn't me. It wasn't me. I didn't fart. Well, why are you thinking that? Father O'Malley leaves, granting you opportunity to speak with Jessica. But it's hardly a private conversation as the elf, Lynn, has chosen to stay and support her friend. As it all happens, Jake and Coyote have also lingered, lending, your, lending you support, too. Alright, what would you like to talk about? 
Let's start with your mother. Did you know she was an organ donor? Just because Amir turns oddly cool and stony in response to such a simple question. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Then can you explain how her body parts made their way into half a dozen of recipients? You don't know what you're talking about. I know Sam helped your mother save lives. Th through that donation. Her jaw clenches. She wasn't a donor. She was a victim. A victim of my brother's greed. He took from her, desecrating her body, all to benefit himself. She never would have agreed to such a thing. Not even to save lives of others? Lives like Sam's? Cracks are starting to appear in Jessica's carefully crafted mask. Sam destroyed his own liver per pursuing oblivion. That was his choice. Your mother's gift meant a second chance for Sam. It was not a gift! It was stolen! And it wasn't about to let him destroy what little remained of her with his vulgar appetites. And so you hired Holmes to get it back? Jessica's eyes burn with righteous anger, gone in any attempts to hide her guilt. Holmes, Dr. Holmes made my mother whole again. He made it possible for me to place her to rest and say goodbye. He killed Sam and half a dozen other people whose lives have been saved by your mother. She snaps. Those people were scavengers, schools. They deserve to die for desecrating my mother's body. Well, here's the freaking bullcrap laid bare right there. Jessica is gone loony. And poor Sam, it was his drinking and debauchery that drove my mother to the grave. As sure as if he had murdered her himself. My mother deserved honor and dignity. I gave her that today. She's finally whole again with a proper Catholic burial. Those ghouls who stole her organs, and organs including Sam, have paid the price for their sins. The beautiful elf breaks in the essence of calm. Jessica? Jessica, that's enough. We have business to attend to. My old family is dead and buried where they should be. They can't take my new family now. They can't corrupt my children. I won't go through that again. Jessica, we need to go now. She presses a button on her comm link. She sees at you. What happened now is on your head. If you had just walked away when I told you to, McCluskey would have eventually found Holmes, collected his lieutenant's badge, and closed the case. But you had to keep digging. Now you and your friends have to die. Let their blood be on your hands. Oh, really? Oh, really? Ma'am, we have received your call grade. Only three? No problem. Oh, really? Really? Really now? And both of them run like freaking cowards, and we let them get away without sniping them in the heel or the ankle that slowed them down. But it's fine, because these two um, mercenaries do not have a goddamn chance in hell. I'm serious, neither of you have a chance in hell. I'll start with you, because you're. <laughs> Look at two shots already, and you're almost dying. I already hide. Do you have to have to carry it? Ooh, you are. Wait, wait, what's that? What's that? Phosphorus grenade? What the hell is that? Yeah, we'll just be fine. Well, that's one down! Oh, and you missed. You missed. Fine, just shoot him. And you missed again. Oh, there's more. Road! Oh, come on. Weak, really? Oh, that's a good shot. And you're dead. Let's, let's hide her there. Well, let's see what we can do with this. We should be fine. Oh, God! Oh, Lord! Oh, Lord! Oh, Lord! Oh, Lord! Oh, Lord. Oh, this is a problem! This is a problem! This is a big problem! I hope I still- I, I'm gonna need grenades. We need to find where Sam's sister might have gone. Maybe one of these guys can tell us with a little encouragement. Yes. Just a wee bit of the encouragement. Well, 
You still got grenades there? Wait, so what's that do? Okay, I'm, I'm, I need to get him closer for that. Ooh! Oh, that's one down. Of course, he's a magic user. Oh, they're still burnt. They're still on fire from the. Ow! Really? 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 Come on, guys! Ooh! No, that's dead. Oh, you're a big guy, aren't you? You are bigums. Oh, yeah, you see, yeah, yeah, you really shouldn't be up uh, close and personal in someone's face when they have a shotgun, you frickin' Nimrod. Da, 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 da. Yeah, seal him. Come on, can I get... That's fine. Ooh. You hear something... You hear scratching coming from a crypt. Oh, no. Gotta end this quick before the frickin' ghouls come out. God dang it! Hey, you're done. Oh, come on, really? You got another grenade, coyote? No, oh, frackin' hell. Really? All three shots, you frickin' mother... Why is he so... Looks like we... Looks like we woke up the neighbors. We got ghouls on coming. Hey, Big, maybe we can use this to our advantage. Oh, hey. Oh, hell, ghouls. And they go right at him. And one's coming right at me. Because, of course, it is. I've been infected. Awesome. Ow! Ow! Oh, just what I want to deal with. Ghouls. Reload. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, come! Yeah, you need to heal, Jake. Oh, hello, there's more. Oh, that's a problem. That's a female ghoul that's touching me, and I don't like being touched. I mean, thank you for the grenade help there, buddy. Yeah, you take, you, you handle that. Also, I'm dying. Here, take care of him. Oh, 
Okay, so he's uh partner. Thank you! You hear a scratching coming from the crypt. Oh lord. I love how they all are coming from me. They're, they're all coming from me. They're all literally coming from me. Oh, not all of them. No, one decided... Okay, no, it's just these... One decided, hey, it's enough to go after the... 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 The, the elf. Let's just... Yeah, it's, you know, it's fine. Why are you freaking missing? Yeah, heal yourself. That mess. Game. Run away. Yeah, you best frickin' hit! Or not. Up, <laughs> oh, three more just appeared. Awesome. Great. Jesus! Another long episode of uh, freaking from my friend. Run away. Heal yourself. Why? Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. And of course they... I love this. I'll, I'll most... Uh, okay, also now... Okay. That's fine. That's completely fine. Reload. Ooh, 12 damage. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Get away from me, you nasty! <sighs> there we go! Problem solved! Secure the cemetery. Let's go talk to this schmuck. You listen as the sounds of gunfire and spell bursts fade away, and the sounds of the dead return to the cemetery. The man is beyond healing. As you look down at him, you notice the quality of his suit and shoes. This isn't a runner. He's not from the street. Jessica Watts. She healed. She hired you. Where can I find her? You get nothing. 
he convulses and dies. We don't know each other too well, but it's... We don't know each other too well, but it seems to me that you need to find a better group of people to associate with. You're not the first person to tell me that. Yeah, well, it's part of living in the shadows. Do the research, chummer. How do those troops materialize? You didn't recognize who the elf was? She looks familiar. Have I seen her somewhere? Yep. She's a major spokesman, a spokesperson for the Universal Brotherhood. Her name is Lynn Tele Telestrian. She's super rich. Hmm. <clears throat> Jake grabs the dead man by the throat. At first, it looks like he's trying to kill him again. And then you notice he's feeling for something under his skin. Yep. He's got a Corp ID chip. He watches as Jake pulls out his modified PDA and slots the chip. Mr. Wiley here was e with Eagle Security. They work for the UB. It must have been Lynn Telestrian's security detail we just chewed through. If she's protecting Jessica, they'll be inside the Universal Brotherhood. If you're going to hit the Universal Brotherhood, I'm coming too. That cycle just admitted she killed my friend Sam and a lot of innocent people killed just so she could put her dead mother back together. That is totally slagged up. Plus she and her elf buddy Lynn just tried to geek me. They're gonna hurt for that. Suit yourself, lady. I was only stopped by pay, res pay my respects to Sam. Merc hit squads, the Universal Brotherhood, not my scene at the moment. I can call up some of Delilah Delilah's runners if you want to go there now. Let me know what you decide. So now, well, let's, let's, uh, wait. You know what? Let's, let's check the cemetery really quick. See if there's anything of, uh... Interest around here. I don't think there is. I'm just checking here. Because you never know. You never know. So! Let me spin my, uh, my, ooh. Let me spin my karma, my ten points of karma. Give me some body. For four points to nothing else. Yeah, we'll do that. It's fine. So! We... have just been on receiving... We, we just found out why Sam was killed and a whole bunch of other people. And how they're connected to a freaking cult. But are we going to be able to handle them? And most importantly, am I going to get to shoot Jessica in the face? Find out next time on The Big Man Plays Shadow Run Returns. Till next, Big Fatty Plus. Sayonara! And it always leads down to corporate cults. Cults that are made by rich people so they can feel better about themselves. When in reality, they're still mean rich people. They still suck. But they lie to themselves on the daily. <laughs>